everything that we're talking about in our lecture this week, you are going to be doing on your descriptive essay organization form. And all of those forms are located in your learning materials. So these are all the forms you need for the descriptive personal essay, and they're in each module. This week we're using the description, writing, organizing, fillable form. Try saying that three times fast. So this is basically just how are you organizing your, your whole essay, and also how are you organizing your paragraphs, which is what our lecture is about. So a good paragraph needs three things. It needs topic sentence, it needs support, and it needs analysis. Support, obviously, is, is what is proving that topic sentence, which should be something that needs to be proved or, or needs to be supported. A statement like, the sky is blue, probably doesn't need support unless your next sentence is, even when you're on Mars. So, uh, your topic sentence should be something that you're proving, your evidence, your support, should go to that, and then your analysis is explaining why that evidence it does support that 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 topic sentence. So, and sometimes the analysis is worked in with the evidence, especially in something like a personal descriptive essay, but you need to make sure you have all three of those things. So, again, topic sentence clearly states your points. And topic sentence should be covering everything that is in that paragraph. It should also relate back to the thesis. You could kind of think about it like this. If you took your thesis and the topic sentence from every paragraph and pulled those out and lined them up, could someone have a, a rough idea of how your essay is going to progress and the evidence that you're going to use to support that thesis? So basically, topic sentences and a thesis, uh, in a sense, could line up as an outline for your draft. Now, how do you support this? You support it with concrete, specific evidence. And for this essay, it's going to be from your personal experience. Now, that doesn't mean you won't have any facts or statistics, but remember, you need to cite those. But the, the majority of this should be from your personal experience because it is a personal descriptive essay. And then the biggest thing, one of the biggest things I find, is that in giving this evidence, Avoid ge vague generalities. Be specific. Be concrete. If you are smelling or tasting or hearing something, make sure your audience can smell and taste and hear that too. And that it leads to the feeling or the idea that you are trying to evoke to send your message. Now, unity is is another big thing with the paragraph so first you have the topic sentence right and evidence to support it but when we are thinking through our ideas we usually don't think in block paragraphs ideas just kind of flow and drift in our mind at least they do in mine which is why i run off on tangents on lectures all the time and have to keep editing these things that is a natural way the mind works let yourself do that in your first draft. Let the words just flow. Don't try to get this kind of unity or this kind of, of um, uh, evidence, make sure everything supports. Just let it go, but then go back and make sure, does every sentence here support this topic sentence? Oh, no, not this sentence. I'll move that over and use it in a different paragraph. I sometimes use a highlighter to do this. Okay, this topic sentence is yellow, and everything that relates to yellow all over this page goes here. And then you sort of do a cut and paste move up and then a re-edit to make sure that the ideas that were drifting all over have now been corralled under the correct topic sentence. Again, this is a, a editing process for someone like me, not something that happens as the ideas are flowing. And finally, um, make sure that the organization of ideas within the paragraph makes sense. That is, um, that whether this needs to be in chronological order or whether there needs to be a build up to a certain emotion, that the order of ideas in the paragraph supports that. 
So that is the, the sort of construction of a strong paragraph. Next, we're going to look at the style of a paragraph. 